So in this video, we'll take a look at the data, uh, submitting your form data as a post uh, method. So we'll come into index and instead of get, we'll do post. Um, and again, it's just a web form, simple web form. Uh, it's going to the action is uh, the results method and it's going to send the data as a post. Now we would expect this then to be sent in the uh, request body. So let's, uh, we'll prove that that happens. And if I come in here, uh, I'm creating a, a Python variable form and I'm just grabbing a request form uh, from, the, uh, from the data that's coming over, from the data that's submitted here to results. Okay, and let me start Wireshark. And let's visit the site. And again, I can see the get request. It's blank. Um, it was Flask is configured to, to give uh, index, so it did. And here is the HTML that's come over. So now the browser has it, uh, and we're ready to complete the form and submit the data. Okay, and that was the HTML coming over. No. That was the original HTML coming over. Yep, with the form in it. And then if we scroll down, we can see where it was submitted. And notice this time that it's just calling results. There isn't the, the parameters after results. So if we want to look for that data, we can come down to the body and we can see that data in the body. So the data is actually getting carried in the body. Now the next step would be to encrypt this using TLS and then this would all be encrypted and we couldn't see any of those details. Um, but we now have proved that it's carrying in it with a post, with an HTTP post, um, or carrying the data in the body. So in all of your web forms, make sure that you're using the method post.